the strongest boy is betrayed by his best student and reincarnates in a fantasy world as a weak boy but keeps his old powers and can summon s rank creature the story begins with a group of monsters attacking a village and the protagonist narrates the story his life he says that since he was a child he always sought power because he thought that by becoming the strongest no one could take anything from him he throws some paper dolls of his dragon in the direction of the monsters and the paper explodes in their faces in the greatest conan style his dragon devours the last of the monsters and in the narration he says that he got all the power he wanted by becoming the strongest exorcist in the world however he continues saying that one night went back Bad. He mentions that his quest for more power ended up doing such a court sent his favorite student after him and that student left him in trouble. When he was about to die he says he was naive and in the next life he would not make the same mistakes, casting a reincarnation spell on himself before dying. He reincarnates as a baby, brother of two boys talented in the use of magic and his father, after taking a test to find out if he had magic discovers that no, he doesn't, the protagonist, explains that in this world he is called Saika and that he is it's okay because even though he doesn't have magic he has a lot of spiritual power, he explains that he was born into an important family of magicians and he is the third son of his father, the scene cuts with him using leaves to make what he calls Shikigami, which is a style invocation that Megumi uses in Jujitsu, the Shikigami he makes are crows that he sends out to scout the world but they come back to protect him when his brother tries to beat him for not having magic, he keeps growing and learning more about his world saying that this is a much more advanced and peaceful world than his original world, a slave who worked in the mansion knocks on his door and hands him his jacket that was gone, soon after his baggy brother scolds her for not being working and starts bragging to Saika that he would take magic classes and had the potential to enter a very angry school of magic, while he bragged trying to lower, Saika his father calls him to train, Saika asks his father to take him too and at the training camp his two brothers show their father their ability with magic and his lazy brother Gray challenges him to try too. He accepts magic himself without magic and while pointing his wand he says he didn't want to look for it power in this world but the strong would always exploit the weak so he wanted to show everyone that he is not weak at all. He launches a blue fireball so powerful that it destroys the target that was a stone and everyone is impressed with it. He then says for his father who also wanted to study magic but he denies it saying that there is no record of anyone who was born without magic and managed to become a magician, he says that he already expected to hear that and decides to just study about this world. A few more years pass, and he is now 11 years old. He explains that in his past life he defeated and sealed many powerful Ayakashi and used them as servants and decides to summon the least powerful among them as a test to know what would happen. He chooses the Kitsune that it's a fox girl and he invokes her and the moment she is invoked she jumps on him hugging him and calling him master. He finds it strange that she's that big but she says it must be because he doesn't have much energy. He says that no one could know about her then she turns into a fox and hides in his hair, Ratatoil style. The scene cuts with him walking down the hall and seeing his brother with a perverted face telling the maid to go to his room at night so he can teach him something but Saika interferes and saves her from this predicament. She takes him to the backyard and says that she found an injured monster cub and asks if it was possible to save it. Saika says he will try and asks her to turn to the other side. She turns and he uses a conjuration to heal the puppy. Right after he tells her that he knows she is different from other people, she can see the spirits, just like him but says that there is something else that she sees and asks what it was, she reveals that they are the elementals, creatures of light that obey her, he says that this is very rare because not even he managed to control a type of spirit similar to the elementals in his past life, he asks her if she wanted to learn magic and she replies that she would love to but she didn't have enough magic power but he says she doesn't need it and invokes the same spirit he could never control, and asks her to make him disappear just like she she did with them, she succeeds after ordering him to disappear and Saika says she has talent. The anime shows several images of the two training other times and he sees that the training paid off when a giant salamander that fled the big city ended up right in front of the mansion and the maid named Aoife used a firepower to attack her. Saika then lures salamander away from Aoife and everyone sees through the window while Saika jumped aimed his wand at salamander and boom casts a spell that defeats her with a single blow as he always hit his powers so as not to to attract attention. Everyone in the house is surprised by his power and applauds him, including one of his brothers who is a good guy unlike the other who pisses him off and even hid under the table scared of the monster. His father saw him defeating Salamander and as a reward he gave him a feast with a lot of food and angry looks from his grey brother. His father tells him that he felt obliged to reward him for his effort and hearing that Saika makes a request, he asks his father to let him enter the kingdom's magic academy 
his father accepts and his brother complains when he hears that he makes one more request to his father to take Aoife along with him as his servant. His father initially denies it but Saika shows Aoife launching a giant blast of fire which is a medium level magic and after seeing this his father allows him to take her along but his brother complains to his father saying that two brothers could not follow the same path that was the tradition and his father says that he will not break the tradition and he would go to the army in Saika's place. He hears this and proposes a duel to Saika worth the entrance to the academy and Saika accepts. At night his brother Luft enters his room and says that he is a little late to say this but he wishes him a happy birthday and gives him a glass pen as a present. After he leaves he starts talking to Yuki, his fox summon and asks her to hide because she felt something. Soon the windows of her room are broken and looking for her he sees her other brother, Grey calling him to a duel. He accepts to duel with him right there but his brother was not with desire to hold back and starts using a medium level magic against Saika which easily puts out the flames and using a conjuration with a paper doll makes Grey not move and when he twists the doll's arm, Gray's arm twists too. He asks Gray to give up and he gives up, so Saika tells him to tell his father that he gave up the duel between them and in a conversation with his fox Yuki he explains that Salamander's thing was all planned. In a flashback he shows his plan in action that involved summoning another high-level monster who upon seeing him bows saying it was a pleasure to serve him again. He tells this monster to go to the salamander's nest in the forest and expel it for her like this get out of there and end up stopping at the mansion. He says that everything went as planned. Yuki then tells him that in a world of weak humans he can do anything but he replies that the same weak humans killed him in his life old and he wanted to be like them. Just one more in the crowd and nothing more. The scene cuts with him about to leave with Aoife. He says goodbye to his brother. Luft and on the way he asks Aoife to wear a medallion saying that this would attract more spirits to her. He says that she needs to master spiritual magic and that getting stronger will be beneficial to him. The scene cuts to her father realizing that it's been 12 years since he got there. It arrived? Yes, Saika was given to him by a woman and in fact he is the son of his brother called Gilbert. He says that this Gilbert was an adventurer who disappeared in demonic land and wonders if Saika was his son with a demon because at the age of one he could already use magic but when performing a magic test he saw that he had no magic power and says he knows that what Saika uses is not magic but something different. He says he found the way strange salamander died because it looked like she had been poisoned and says that it is very dangerous for Saika to go to the army so he sent him to the magic academy, and says that Saika can become both a hero that protects humanity and a demon king or something similar. The scene cuts with Ida arriving at the magic academy. Next to it there was a tent with a girl calling new students to take a test to measure magical power by putting her hand in a crystal ball. Aoife goes first and the crystal ball says that she has the elements of fire and wind as, for Saika, the crystal ball does not respond. The girl thinks it is a mistake, but he replies that no, he really has no magic power. Everyone starts to talking bad about him behind his back, but a girl interrupts everyone saying she would take the test there. She does and the crystal ball turns all white showing that she has all four elements, water, fire, earth and wind. When leaving Saika thanks her for not letting the crowd keep talking about him, but she says she didn't do it for him. As he turns his back he notices something. This girl is his favorite student who killed him in his past life. She was also reincarnated in this world. He sees that she was carrying a sword and wonders if she was strong. The scene cuts with the new students taking the practical entrance exam at the academy. Some cast their spells and Saika says that they are no big deal. His slave is called and it gives a show. She literally melts the target with her spiritual fire magic and breaks the target with her wind spiritual magic. Coming to Saika's turn he does the same thing. He uses magic of three different elements and rolls with the targets unlike the other students at the academy he has no magic so he can release magic using his spells like he uses spells to gather minerals and everything else that combusts and turns into fire giving the impression that he uses fire magic and that the same goes for the other elements. After the tests a teacher talks to the instructor who explains that three students were impressive in the test. I say three because that girl from before who is the reincarnation of the proto student in the past life also took the test and if she did better than the two, the teacher says that maybe she could become the hero of this world. Her explanation is that people with the talent to be heroes are born at the time when the demon king is about to return or be reborn. I know something like that there. After that the two go to see their results in the test and Saika discovers that he was in third with Aoife in second and the girl who is called 
called a Muin first. After that the two are officially approved in the academy and are invited to a welcome party. On the way to Aoife they see an elemental of the shadows and approaching Saika says that he was there because there was a portal right next to it. Looking at the portal they feel something bad about him and Saika tells the two leave and don't touch it because it's school property. But before leaving he leaves one of his hitogata which are those little paper things to keep an eye on the portal while he was at the party. There Amiu makes a speech saying she wants to get stronger to protect her friends and blah 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 until demons invade the party. Some students try to stop them but their magic has no effect on them and when a student was about to die Amiu saves her by cutting the demon. She proceeds to attack him with wind magic and by the slow way they attack Saika realizes that they were looking for something. He then uses his Hidagama as if it were a camera to find the spellcaster that brought the demons there and finds it. He teleports their giving. A hot and the Bichao that is a demon of metal summons inferior demons to fight against him but he defeats them easily. The demon of metal itself decides to face him and with little time of battle Saika realizes that his attacks with Hidagama do not work on him and soon after the demon throws his sword that passes through him slowly but is teleported back to his direction and hits him. This results in him losing his arm. He asks the demon what he was looking for and he replies that he was looking for the legendary heroine. He asks the one from the fairy tale and he replies that this is no fairy tale and that the prophecy 12 years ago about a legendary heroine being born was true. Saika then imagines that he was referring to Amu and he upon hearing her name, thanks him for having spoken because now it would be easier to find her. He then attacks and kills Saika saying that for a human he was splendid but what he didn't expect is that Saika was still alive. Well, he really died but he used a spell to come back to life and even used a magic that negates any projectile coming towards him which disables the dagger he throws towards him. After they have a conversation about power Saika jumps in the air and launches a gigantic water magic that floods the entire region but the demon escapes with a teleportation spell or not. He appears again trying an attack from above but that doesn't work and Saika summons one of his servants who electrocutes the water and finishes him off. Or not again why does he cross the Saika with his hand saying he was naive but was he? Saika let himself be hit on purpose and after touching him he explodes teleporting to his Hidogatana Minato style teleporting to his Kanai. To finish he summons one of his servants who is like a powerful dragon but Saika tells him that he was not a dragon but a Ryo. This Ryo eats the demon and is fine flying through the air but when Saika was going to make him go back to another plane he tries to escape after a perenge he manages to send him back there. He says that he was surprised with one of his servants being rebellious against him but that makes sense because his body is not as mature as in the previous life despite having a good flow of spiritual power. He goes back to the party and sees that Amu defeated all the demons alone. He in thought says that being the strongest is a problem because in the end the strongest is always betrayed or something like that so he imagines that the smartest way to live is to obey the order of the strongest and just stay cool. So he would become her friend and make her the strongest in this world and if one day she died he would be sad but that would be it. Will he keep thinking like this for a long time? If you want to know then comment a lot so I know you liked it and want part 2. I just summarized the beginning of the anime so there's a lot of ground ahead. If you want part 2 you already know what to do.